Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your Dell computer on your Windows 11 device. So this should hopefully be a pretty quick tutorial of how to speed up your Windows 11 laptop, tablet, computer, and increase the performance, whether for productivity, video editing, gaming, that sort of thing. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing you're going to do is open up the search menu. Type in personalization. Best match should come back with themes and related settings. Go ahead and open that up. Scroll down. You want to select colors. Go ahead and left click on that. And then where it says transparency effects, windows and surfaces appear translucent. Go ahead and turn that off. So again, one thing you guys can definitely do to improve performance would be to turn off the transparency effects. So you can close that here. So something else you guys can try here too would be to open up the search menu. Type in disk cleanup. Go ahead and open that up. Should be the best result here. Go ahead and select cleanup system files. And then you want to go ahead and select OK. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Select delete files. And once that's done, go ahead and open up the search menu again. Type in programs. Best match to add or remove programs. Go ahead and open that up. Select apps and features. And then go down this list here. And if you see apps you no longer use, you can uninstall them. Keep in mind that some of these Microsoft apps are not able to be removed. So if you click the three dot icon next to it, you can see if it can be uninstalled or not. And you can also reinstall a lot of these Microsoft apps if they do allow you to uninstall them, which some of them will. You can reinstall them through the Microsoft Store, which is built into Windows as well. And I've made tutorials about how to find missing calculator or missing camera before, so you're welcome to check out those videos if for some reason it's no longer available. But you can see a lot of them actually are available to be uninstalled, so that's definitely nice. Go ahead and remove unused applications that you no longer need. So recommend trying that. So on the apps page here, you want to scroll down where it says startup. Go ahead and select that. Now turn off apps you no longer need or to have running in the background every time your computer restarts. So generally, unless it's an antivirus, you can generally turn them off here. So an antivirus is typically the only thing I would keep. But if you have printers and stuff, you can turn them off. And then as long as you don't uninstall the printer, it will turn back on when it's time for printing, and you can also manually turn it on. So basically, there's a lot of services that want to start up when your computer starts up, so that it'll be quicker to load these specific programs once you're already into Windows, because they're already loaded into memory. Now, the disadvantage to that is that if you're not using some of these programs, or they're very resource intensive, they're going to slow your computer down every time your computer restarts. So for example, if you don't actually use Microsoft OneDrive, there's no reason to have that turned on every time your computer turns on. So just consider turning a lot of them off here. So that's something else you guys can try. Also go ahead and open up the search, type in defrag. Best match to come back with defragment and optimize drives. Go ahead and open that up. And then you want to go ahead and select defrag and optimize. Again, if you have a hard disk drive, you can do that. Solid state drives, you can only optimize, which Windows will let you do. So go ahead and select the optimize button or defrag, obviously depending on you know, what options you have available. Okay, so once that's done, you can close out of here with just restarting your computer. Okay, so once that's done, you want to now go ahead and open up the start menu. Type in control panel. Best match to say control panel here. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to set your view by two large icons. And then you want to select where it says power options. Go ahead and left click on that. And then you want to select show additional plans. Select higher performance. Favors performance but may use more energy. Once you've done that, close out of there. Something else I want you guys to try here would be to search for adjust appearance into the start menu search. And go ahead and select adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Go ahead and left click on that. Select adjust for best appearance. Select adjust for best performance and select apply and OK. If you have to change any of your display settings back after that, you can. You might have to go through and customize some ones if you don't like some of the effects. But generally, that should definitely increase your performance. 
And then something else you can try here too if you open up the start menu, type in CMD, best results should say command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. And if you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now go ahead and type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now shall be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter the keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And once it's done, close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to speed up your Dell computer a little bit. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.